What's up guys? Getting back into some beaver killing. Changing out some mags here. Switching from the 90 grain TNT for coyotes. Back to the 123 SSTs for beaver. We're going to head back to the lake. And man, I bet it's been probably a month and a half since I've been there. We're going to head back out and see what kind of action there is. All right, guys, just got out of the truck. Gonna get this 100 yard hike in, be right at the lake, and then uh, we'll switch over to thermal and see what kind of action we got. Skunk. Go. Go. Get out of here. Go. Yeah. Go. Good boy. All right guys, it's about nine o'clock the morning after. Gonna pull back in here and go see if we can recover this beaver from last night. I know it's dead. I hope it's just close enough where we can recover it. I brought a shovel for an oar in case I need to use this boat out here. But hopefully it's just right there where I was kind of shooting at. Right there he is, guys. Came back out this morning to recover him, and then I'll take him home, get him cleaned up, and uh, put him on the grill.
go. Pretty good size. Man, he's heavy. Size 12 boot there, pretty good size. We'll get him home, get him cleaned up. Put it on the grill a little bit later. All right guys, got the beaver back home here. Get him up here on the tailgate. And all I'm doing here is I'm just getting the back straps out. Uh, not gonna worry about anything else. And I know there's plenty of other people that know how to skin beaver better than I do. And that's fine and dandy, but all I'm doing here is getting me some good lunch, good dinner to throw on the grill. Cut right along that spine, <clears throat> you'll feel it start hitting the ribs. And just start peeling it away. Like I say, I know there's a lot better ways to do this. Take a lot more time, it'd be easier, but this one laid around for a little bit, so I'm gonna get it cleaned up just with what I want and have a nice meal out of it. Look at that good dark red meat. Get that piece cleaned up. Let it soak in some water. Do the same to the other side. Tasty dark red meat, very similar to uh, beef. Nutrient dense, good natural diet. All right, guys, that's what it looks like so far. I'll get this in, let it soak in some water for a little while, get it cleaned up really well, and then I'll go through and take off these thin layers of fat here and then uh, bring you guys back before we throw it on the grill later today. All right, we're getting ready to get the grill fired up and I'm gonna throw this beaver on the griddle portion of my grill griddle combo. I'm gonna fry this up kind of fajita style with just some sliced onions and some green pepper. All right, gonna get the griddle portion good and warm. On the other side over here on the grill, I've just got some turkey burgers for the family and some asparagus going. It's got some asparagus with olive oil and sea salt in the aluminum foil and some turkey burgers. We're gonna use this side for the beaver meat in the stir fry. Get some oil on here. All right, 
Got this beaver meat here. couple small pieces of the ham here Also found quite a few wild morel mushrooms yesterday too. Got those frying up on the stove. Found about 30 yesterday. Let this get cooked up a little bit. I'll dice it up then add in the vegetables and should be good to go. Always want to make sure you cook this all the way through till about 170 or 175 probably. These creatures of the lake, you just never know or want to risk what they might be carrying. But man, it's good. Just gonna add a little bit of steak seasoning to this. All right guys, internal temperature is good. Gonna finish this up. Just a simple Just a simple mixture of cubed loins green pepper and onions and I might add some rice to it I'll probably just eat it like this though definitely add some hot sauce to it gotta have that There we go guys <clears throat> man some good stuff not quite as tender as I've made it in the past one time when we were camping I did a Dutch oven over a campfire with some uh, potatoes carrots and some broth and it made it real tender then. Plus, I think that one was a lot smaller than this one. 
This one's probably kind of like eating an old grizzly mature buck. But man, the flavor is still awesome. Even though it's not quite as tender as some of the other ones. All I did was put a little bit of Frank's Red Hot on it. And this is some awesome stuff. That's it, guys. Appreciate you being along on this ride. Make sure and subscribe to see more. Get out and kill you a beaver. Fry it up however you like it. And enjoy. See you guys on the next one. Appreciate you all. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.